All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, while we're which Yahweh, that's Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Rechakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And today I want to do a, um, um, a series review on this show called The Last of Us that's on HBO. And this uh, series uh, is based actually on a uh, video game, which I'm pretty sure some of you brothers have played and know about it. And I'll say this, I haven't personally uh, played it. Um, I've uh, seen, um, you know, clips of it, though. And, um, <clears throat> you know, it, it looks like a good game. And um, the, uh, the TV series is uh, on point. You know, the first episode that came out was uh, really good. All right. And uh, pretty much, you know, if you don't know about this uh, game slash uh, series, it's uh, pretty much shows you how America, you know, is going to, you know, fall, okay? And um, in this show, it shows you how a uh, basically a fungal disease, okay, you know, uh, destroyed, you know, society, okay? And, you know, from, uh, like I said, I'm only on episode one, what they show you in this is how, you know, pestilence, which are diseases, all right, or a disease, you know, is going to destroy, you know, mass amounts of people, okay, L large portions of the population, okay, shows you martial law, it shows you how fast, um, basically, uh, 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 groups, gangs, I guess you could call it, all right, form, you see, you know, and how, um, how hard it is to get, you know, natural resources. All right. You see? And I'll say this. This is all um, a glimpse of what's going to happen, all right, in the very near future. And I'll say this. Hey, they, the scriptures talk about these things. Okay? It talks about, you know, the, the warfare. It talks about the diseases. It talks about the death, so on and so forth. You see? All right, and I'll say this, like I always, you know, push out there. It's good to watch, you know, either movies or series like this. It gets you in a, uh, a more serious mindset, okay? Gets you in a more serious mindset. Because, hey, these, these, these things are coming. These things are coming. All right, but uh, let's get this uh, scripture here. We'll start off here. This is a uh, Second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And that's what we do as prophets. Okay? We push out prophecies. And you know, the main prophecies that are gonna come to pass is the uh, destruction of uh, America, okay? Because America is prophesied in the scriptures. And it, it prophesies how it's going to, uh, you know, how it's going to fall. All right. And some of the things that are going to happen here is diseases, uh, warfare, lack of, you know, uh, 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 natural goods. All right. Or lack of our uh, resources. So, all right. So on and so forth. Okay. This place is, 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 is not, you know. It's not going to be so pretty out here anymore. I'll say it like that. Okay? Things are, are going to get real ugly real soon. Okay? Well, let's keep reading. It says here, And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true, meaning these prophecies. Fear not the imaginations against thee, but not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. So pretty much for the followers and believers of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai and this word, don't worry about those that don't believe. And those that, you know, you know, uh, imagine evils, okay? 
You know, they imagine these evil things to do to you. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Okay? For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. And this is what's going to happen very soon. Judgment's coming. It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring, a, I will bring plagues upon the, the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. And it shows you these things in this series. Okay? You know, they, they, they showed you how people were just getting, you know, smoked left and right. Okay? And it was, kind of, I'll say this, it was still kind of mild, all right, for the, you know, because it's only episode one. I know as time, you know, or as episodes come out, you know, you get, you get further in this, into the series, I'm sure there's going to be, you know, lots of, you know, gruesome deaths. You know, that, that's what I foresee in this. Okay? All right, and then these things are, are going to become a true reality here in America very soon. Let's keep reading. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. And this is why these plagues and these, you know, horrible times are coming. Because of the evils that the people do right now. Okay? You know, people, you know, murder. People um, are, you know, uh, a part of that sodomite, you know, lifestyle. These people are adulterers, idolaters, etc. You know? This is a very evil and wicked world that we live in right now. Okay? Now let me jump down. It says here in uh, verse 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hands. Okay, this is what's coming. All right, this is what's coming. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And they show you uh, the uh, sedition in that show. You have this uh, rebel group, okay, that are against, you know, the, the government. All right, even though they're in their society... You know, because they have a, a somewhat of a um, a functioning society, right? A couple cities, you know, throughout the states. It's still um, there's still rebels though within those uh, within those cities. Okay. And I'm gonna keep reading verse 17. A man shall desire to go into into a city and shall not be able, and that show shows you how you can't get in or out of, of a city. Unless you know somebody or unless you sneak out, okay? And let me just show you a, a, another picture, all right? This is from uh, one of the scenes, all right? Sorry, you can't uh, try to get a good uh, picture, but it was hard to. But those are all soldiers. And this is uh, one of the characters, all right, to the left. She, uh, <laughs> put, put it like this, she went from one bad situation... And it ended up in another bad situation. Real quick. Alright. You see? They had them troops come real fast. Alright. You know? And that's what's going to happen out here too. It's going to get real uh, uh, um, strict. Alright. They're going to enforce that martial law. And things are going to get real strict. They're going to have... Oh, they show you that in the... In the... Uh, um, in the series too. I forgot the the time frame, but I believe it was like from like six or seven p.m. to like basically sun up. You 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 couldn't um uh, go outside. You know that curfew, that martial law. You know they, that's what they're gonna do in the very near future, and we already saw a glimpse of that. All right, when the CV you know nineteen was um you know pushed. When it was, you know, taking over, you know, the world, so to speak. Okay? Let me keep reading. For because of their pride, the city shall be destroyed, and the houses shall be destroyed. Or, Salaki. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. And um, it says here, And the houses sh shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, and spoil their goods. Because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. 
and that's pretty much you know uh they didn't really get into it too much into the show but they they did kind of show how the you know uh you know the main you know some of the main characters got basically ripped off in a trade all right they, they, they were uh they needed to get a car battery and they paid x amount of money i forgot how much it was for it and the guy who uh who was supposed to supply them with that he ended up having a bad battery and was trying to sell it to somebody else and he ended up getting judgment anyways which was beautiful all right but you know it just shows you these things okay now let's go down a little bit f uh, farther this is um where is it at um right here here we go and this is what it says in uh, verse uh, 49 I will send plagues upon thee widowhood poverty famine sword and pestilence to waste thy houses and with destruction and death you see and that's what the Lord is gonna bring and like I said they show you a lot of this in this show and I want to show you the pestilence all right and uh, right here okay this is that fungal disease. When somebody gets it, you know, they basically turn into a, a, like a some type of a, a zombie, so to speak. Okay? And then the, 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 the fungus ends up, it, it destroys the host, which is the, the person. And right there you see um, that that fungus, you know, virus, you know, how it destroys somebody and how that person ended up sticking to a wall, man. You know? You see? And they're, they're going to have uh, things like this come out, okay? Best believe it. You know, they're showing you this in a TV series, but eventually, you know, it's going to happen in real life. You know, you, you, you we kind of saw, like I said, a little bit with the CV-19. That was just, you know, that's child's play. I'll put it like that. They're going to have some real things happen, okay? You know, they show it in this series. Oh, uh, what is it? The Walking Dead, okay? You know, what was it? Resident Evil, you know? Was it I am legend, so on and so forth? They show you these things in these movies. What do you think they're doing in all these, you know, um, uh, uh, government laboratories? You think they're just playing patty cake? No, they're, 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 you know, experimenting. Okay? And eventually those experiments are going to be released to the general public. Okay? All right? But um, I think I'm going to end the, the lesson. You know, it was just a quick one. I just wanted to show the uh, um, show a couple things you know that I saw in, in this series. All right, you know it's a very spiritual series. You know, from what I've you know seen and all that, and you know I highly recommend brothers and sisters check it out. And you know all the th all the things that we see in there is basically a, a biblical. All right, hey, these day that that second Ezra is the fifteen sixteen chapter. Those things are going to start, you know, uh, you know, they're going to start uh, uh, playing out in full effect very soon. We're, we're in those time periods, okay? We're in that time period right now. It's just only a matter of time before they, they, they hit its, you know, its peak, its apex, okay? But uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you know, this was an edifying lesson. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about you, Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom, all.